So we will go to create an array of JSON objects. You remember the array subscript operator we learned a few weeks ago, the square brackets, that's the same in C sharp, that's the same in Java, that's the same in JavaScript. So what you do is you start your subscript operator over here and you close your subscript operator towards the end. You enclose it in a subscript operator. Let's change the Andy to family. So one family member is done. But let me add a property in the family member list called name. So now it's an array of objects. So this is the first element of the array, which is in the first set of squigglies. I'm going to put a comma after this and I'm going to create another set of squigglies. And let me copy and paste these five lines. So we have Sarah, who is eight. She lives in Chicago, Illinois. She's a female and she plays with Slinky. So there are two of two um, elements inside this family array. Now, once you have created it, instead of saying Andy's age is this, we will going to now change our output. The name of the array is family, right? The element of the family is zero, who represents Andy, dot name. So the first element names age is this. So wherever you had Andy in the previous example, you will now going to replace that with family. So I replace all occurrences of Andy and the references to Andy object with family zero. To show you that the same object, same property can be used many times. So now it gives you this output, the same object as before, the same output as before. Now what we're going to do is we will going to declare a variable called name. And in this name variable, I will going to store family zero dot name. Because it is getting referenced so many times, I will just simply use this variable anytime I need to refer to the name because it is the only property that gets that's getting referenced so many times. So that can also be done that you store a properties value in a variable and then use that variable a multiple multiple times. Now, as you have seen over here, that we are using an array. As you see that we are using an array with an index number zero. That means to push to the next one, I can very well do an index number one. So I would now like to put this in a loop. So for variable CTR equals to zero, CTR less than two, CTR plus plus, and I can put this whole thing in a loop. And wherever I have zero, 
I will replace that with CTR. And then I'm producing a horizontal rule between every object's data. So that's why I changed my last BR to an HR. And now when I run it, it gives me each one of them. 